Hello guys, I guess most of you have been traveling to interesting places with beautiful, breathtaking landscape and you want to share that moment with your friends back home. And then you turn on your camera, capture it all on videos, bring it back home and then you realize the footage looks rather boring, flat looking and it just doesn't represent the feeling you had when you were there. So today I'm going to share with you guys one of many techniques you can use to change your landscape videos into something exciting, colorful, bright and lively. So this is one of the shots from my Canon camera using wide angle lens. This was shot early in the morning in southern shore of Isiku Lake in Kyrgyzstan. It's a beautiful mountain lake but the shot looks rather boring and flat. So let's try to make the shot looks high in contrast, vibrant, colorful and lively. So I will start by dragging the source file into here to create a new composition in After Effects. If you realize the video was shot handheld and it was a little shaky here. So the first thing I will do is to stabilize this shot by right clicking on the layer, track and stabilize and click on the warp stabilizer. After Effects will take some time to analyze the footage before stabilizing it. Once it's done, you will see that the movement looks much smoother. But for this shot, I want to lock the camera as in the camera was mounted on the tripod. So I will change the option from smooth motion into no motion and After Effects will automatically re-stabilize the footage. Note that the video was cropped higher to achieve this static no motion effect. If I turn the warp stabilizer on and off, you will see that the video is digitally zoomed to about 106%. The video quality will drop when it's digitally zoomed, so you have to be careful not to zoom it way too much. In this case, After Effects did a good job making this shot look static and the quality drop isn't so obvious since 106% digital zoom is still acceptable. Now the color grading part. Look at this dull, flat looking image. I will do three things on this video. First, I will put high contrast to make it look stand out. Increase the vibrance so that this video will have richer color and exaggerate the sunlight coming from the right. This is my style of grading my travel videos since I always like something very vibrant, high contrast and bright. So let's start by duplicating the video layer by clicking on the layer and press Command D on your keyboard. I will leave the bottom layer untouched so that I can always see the original image of the video anytime I want. Now, there are many ways to adjust the contrast of the video, like adjusting the curve, but in this case, I will simply use level to increase the contrast of this video. Now I will adjust the position of only these three handles of the level. The one on the right is to adjust the highlight or the bright part of the image. The middle one is to adjust the mid-tones of the image. And the left one is to adjust the shadow or the dark part of the image. First, I will adjust the middle handle a bit to the right to make the overall image slightly darker. And then I will proceed with the right handle, move it to the left to brighten the highlight of the image. And lastly, I will deal with the left handle to make the shadow slightly darker than the original image. Okay, I think I will make the overall image even darker by adjusting the middle handle again. Perfect. Now let's turn on and off this effect to see the before and after. So this is before and this is after. Before, after. Notice that the image now is higher in contrast. Next, I will enhance the colors. Since this was shot early in the morning, right before the sunrise, I want to make overall color more bluish since the color of most part of the sky was still dark blue at this time. Again, there are many ways to do that, but in this case, I will just use the color balance. So I will go to the effects, color correction, balance. Then I will play around mid-tone area first to change the overall color of the image. So I will start by increasing the blue balance of the mid-tone and maybe decrease the red balance on the mid-tone and maybe slightly decrease the green on the mid-tone. Perfect. Now I want to increase the blue color further on the shadow part. I will increase the blue very slightly on the shadow, not to overdo it. Then decrease the red very slightly on the shadow. And let's see if I need to decrease the green on the shadow just by a bit. That's fine. 
Now I really like the cool color on the overall image. Next, let's exaggerate the sunlight coming from the right of the image. I'm gonna create a new solid black layer by clicking on the layer, new solid layer. Make sure the color is set to pure black. And while this new layer is selected, I will click on effects, generate gradient ram. I will change the shape into radial ram, swap the colors and change the location of the white point to outside the image to imitate the sun, maybe somewhere here. Then I'm gonna change the blending mode of this layer into classic color dodge. This makes the top right of the image looks very very bright. This is obviously way too strong but I can easily control this by changing the white color. So I click on the white color and choose something like strong orange color to represent the sun which just appear on the horizon from the east. Notice that when I move up and down, this control how bright the light is. So I will make it somewhere around here, just nice. Now I will move to the right to control how strong the color is or the saturation of the orange color. The more I move it to the right, the stronger the color is. In this case, I want something very vibrant, strong colors and bright. So I will move it somewhere around here, maybe stronger, slightly brighter, perfect. Now I will add more layers to do more adjustment on this image. So in order not to get confused, I will name this layer by pressing the enter button on the keyboard on this layer and label it as light color. Great. Now I will add another solid black layer again. And this time I will add lens flare. So I go to effects, generate lens flare. Change the type into 105 millimeter. This will basically be my fake sun. I will make it brighter by increasing the flare brightness to maybe around 106%. Now I will change the position to somewhere around here where I think the sun is. And I think I will blur the flare. So I go to effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. And increase the blurriness until you don't see the flare clearly anymore. Maybe somewhere around 200 is good. Okay, After Effects actually blur the whole thing even the edge. So I can solve this problem by clicking on the repeat edge pixels. Great. I can now change the blending mode into add. The color is currently white. So let's change this by going to effects, color correction, hue and saturation. Now I will click on colorize. First I will adjust the hue to give an orange color to this lens flare. Okay, 25 is good. Now I will adjust the saturation by giving a strong orange color. Note that you can also control the brightness of the lens flare by adjusting the colorize lightness here. But I will prefer to control it using the flare brightness here. Same thing. Let me try to reposition the location of the lens flare. Okay, maybe further. That's fine. Now let's turn this layer on and off to see the image with and without the lens flare. I think it's good to add in this lens flare to give slightly more light that comes from the morning sun. So these two layers are basically controlling the light and colors coming from the sun. One is add blending mode and another one is classic color dodge. One last thing, I will adjust the look of the overall image. I want something more vibrant, stronger color. So I will add an adjustment layer, effects, color correction, vibrant. And I will increase the saturation to give a very strong color to both the warm color on the highlight and the cool color on the shadow area of the image. Okay, I think the orange color on the highlight is too saturated so I will decrease it to maybe somewhere around 15 maybe. That's fine. Forget the blue area first. For now, just concentrate on the saturation of the orange color here and I think this is perfect. Now let's deal with the saturation of the blue color. Now I will add another vibrant effect on the video layer itself. Since this layer will only control the blue color on the shadow area because this layer is located under the two layers that represent the sunlight here. So when I'm controlling the saturation here, notice that it won't affect the orange light coming from two layers on top. Now, I will increase the saturation slightly to give a stronger blue color to the shadow area. Now I think I will give more purple color to the blue since the color of the sunlight is more orange during early sunrise. 
and this will make the blue color more into purple so i think this is okay i really like this kind of strong contrast vibrant look so let's hide all the layers except the first untouched layer to see the before and after so this is before as you can see it looks very flat and boring lack of colors and now this is after our color grading which is high in contrast strong colors So this is one technique that I use to color grade my travel videos. I really hope you guys learn at least one or two things from watching this. And if you guys have any questions or suggestions, please put it on the comment below. I hope to see you guys again next time and peace be on you.